is up. I am live. All right, Missy, come here. Hi, guys. What's up? Say hi, Artemis. Oh, hello. Whoop. Goodbye. <laughs> hello, hello. Who's all in here? Say hi. What up, what up? I haven't done one of these like live dealias in so freaking long. It's nuts. But uh, yeah, I figured I would like try it out. Ah, oh, what's up? Hey guys, so many people do I know. <laughs> oh, what up, John? Uh, yeah, I have not done a live on Instagram for so long. I do live all the time on Twitch, but uh, Instagram's a totally different story, so. We'll probably see Artemis come back into frame soon. He, like, was just here, and then he left. Artemis, what are you doing? Come here. It's like my cats are super about being on camera when it's not live, but as soon as I turn something live on, they're just like, bloop. Ooh, shout out to Miss Vintage Lady. Go check out her stuff. She's great. But, yeah, what up? Uh, I have a bunch of toys that I got at C2E2. And I decided I was going to come on here and open them because I don't keep my toys in boxes. I open them and play with them. Well, I don't play with them that much. But uh, I do put them up on like shelves and stuff, so I figured might as well. But yeah, what's up? Well, there's so many comments, it's hard to keep up with you guys. But hello. Look at all the hearts. <laughs> Look at all the hearts. Ah. But um, yeah, so there's only one that I unboxed already because... I couldn't fit anything else in my suitcase. My suitcase was uh, really full from all the stuff that I got at C2E2. So this is the first one. You guys know who this is? Can anybody guess who this is? A million points if you know this character. But uh, am I gonna be at WonderCon? Yes, I am gonna be at WonderCon all three days um, so far. And uh, I also saw another comment about, um, uh, uh, oh, Garrett. What's up, Garrett? I know Garrett. Uh, he said, All right, oh, the um, Sisterhood Arrow is going to be full-length episodes. The thing that I just posted, um, yeah, spoiler, you got it. Oh, y'all got it. <laughs> uh, anyways, the uh, Arrow, Artemis' Tale, Sisterhood, uh, is going to be a limited series. So they're going to be full-length episodes once we filmed the episodes, but what um, just came out was uh, the teaser, so yeah. Boom! This is, spoiler, Stephanie Brown before uh, she was Batgirl and also like post Batgirl. This is, I think, the rebirth version, but I had to open her because her box didn't fit in my suitcase. I brought way too much, but yeah, isn't she cute? She came with um, accessories. They're in my suitcase still, but she came with like uh, Darkseid's head, I believe. I think he's the Build-A-Figure. And some nunchucks. So, yeah. But, yeah. Oh. But, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, the costume is so cool. My, like, arrow costume. Uh, Janelle, uh, Don Quixote, she, um, just freaking killed it. Like, nailed it. Oh, my God. You guys, I'm so sorry. But I cannot read all of these comments. There are so many. Uh, What's up, Spencer? Uh, but yeah, so all of these action figures and toys and things, I even got a statue I'm going to unbox, this giant statue. Um, I got at C2E2 this past weekend, so Chicago. So if you don't know, I am a freaking crazy person, and I am a huge collector. My house is really empty right now because we just moved in, but um, my house... Uh, like normally is covered in action figures and comic book artwork and all sorts of crazy stuff. So, uh, statues, everything. I think I like did like a little tour of my statues a little while ago on Instagram stories, but, um, I have so much effing stuff and, uh, I got a bunch more C2E2. One of my favorite parts of going to cons and stuff is looking through all of the booths and finding new like toys and, uh, vintage stuff, comics, like whatever. So I, got... what's up, accordion? You know, I 
fitting this all in my suitcase was such a hardship. And this, um, I literally carried with me like this on the plane. This was me on the plane home because I just couldn't pass her up. She's so freaking cool. And she was a really good deal at the con. So I just, I just bought her. Accordion's here. Spencer, I met Accordion in real life. And, uh, Accordion, I've known Spencer for a while. He's from California. But yeah, you guys, what's up, Super Luigi? Luigi's in the house. There he is. Luigi, go check out his stuff. He's my bestie. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> no, WonderCon, I'm staying away from all the toy booths because I spent way too much money. Way too much money at C2E2. So, um, what's up? McLeod is here too. Uh, yeah, but. I'm also going to mention again, I know, I'm sorry, I'm like freaking all over the place, but there's just so much going on. Uh, I am normally live on Twitch. I really don't do Instagram live all that much just because it's so overwhelming. Hi, Chris, what's up? Um, it's just so overwhelming to get so many freaking comments. Like, I love it. I love you guys so much. But uh, Twitch is just a much better place for me to be able to, like, talk to you guys and answer all the questions and hang out. So, um... Freaking Twitch, come find me. The link is in my bio. I'm gonna be live uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna stream tomorrow from my new place on Twitch the first time. So everybody from my Twitch uh, chat who is in here right now, tomorrow, probably like 2 p.m. California time, I'm gonna be here. So, what's up, Trooper Clerk? Who are you? Who even are you? But yeah, what's up, Kevin? Yo, so many friendos. So many, wow, do you hear those sirens? Can you guys hear that? That was intense. But yay, wow, so many fans. All right, let's get to some toy opening. Spoiler is already opened, spoiler alert. <laughs> because I uh, could not fit her in my suitcase, but I have a stack of things to open. I'm gonna save the best for last, but we gonna start, Victoria! <laughs> with Valkyrie. I'm gonna open Valkyrie. So if you guys don't like watching toys being opened, uh, get out now because I'm gonna rip these beezies open. But yay, Victoria! I love her so much! Uh, Victoria Ever After is also one of my best friends in the whole freaking wide world! So, uh, you guys should go check her out, too. Did you hear the cops? <laughs> oh yeah, they, they need me. she is. Look at her. She's gorgeous. So if you guys don't know, I have cosplayed this version of Valkyrie before, uh, with the, like, meta boobs and the, uh, like, jumpsuit. This is from, like, the Fear Itself version. Is this the Doctor Strange line? I was only, like, I don't, I don't know what this is. What line is this? What is this? I don't know. But the build a figure is Hulkbuster. And let me tell you what, the Hulkbuster, what is this, arm right here, is bigger than Valkyrie. <laughs> like, way bigger than Valkyrie. And, like, heavier, too. Yeah, this, this cosplay is a throwback, man. Look at this Hulkbuster arm. It's huge. What am I going to do with this? I don't, I don't have the rest of the pieces. I... I like that they give you the Build-A-Figure pieces, but also, like, I have a random drawer full of pieces from, like, things that I just bought one of the set. Oh, here she is. Valkyrie. Whoa. I'll take out her little sword first. I'm a, I'm a child, guys. Here's a little sword. It's so cute. When I cosplayed her, I had the, um, the battle axe and the spear. Because, um, I know it's like kind of bent because it's plastic, but I did not have this little sword. Boom. There she is. Look at her little braids. And her angry, angry face. Are you ever going to cosplay Rapunzel again? I am. I have a bunch of material to make her. I just need to do that. Oh, what's up, Xavier? Hi. Long time no talk. Sell the, the Build-A-Figure uh, guys on eBay. Yeah, I really should. Um, my WonderCon cosplay lineup. Friday, I'm going to be Jinx from Teen Titans. 
uh, and then I don't even know what yet. I'm so behind. I just got back from Chicago, and uh, I'm gonna work on a new cosplay, and if I get it done in time, then it's gonna be uh, a thing, and if I don't, then it won't. <laughs> but yeah, what's up with the detail on her face? What do you mean? What detail? Like the shine? Yeah, she's so angry, but she's a badass. What's up, Byron? Hello! She's gone into witness protection. Her hair is pretty righteous. It's pretty voluminous. Look at that, like, back bump. But I think it's because you want it to see, like, that. Um, she's so hot. Wig or dyeing my hair purple? Uh, wig. Definitely. I just got my hair re-dyed uh, red, and I'm not dyeing it purple. <laughs> it was pink, though. Yeah, it was pink. Dwayne Johnson eyebrows. I wish I would can focus. Focus on her. Not me. Is that helping? No. Yeah, she looks really angry now that I look at her. She, one of her eyebrows is raised a lot higher than the other one. <laughs> I did see that Valkyrie was um, on the Endgame, one of the Endgame posters, and I'm super excited. I read that it was confirmed that she did not perish somewhere a while ago, so I wasn't surprised that we saw her, but I'm very excited. I really hope, and it's just the, like, classic comic book fan in me, but I really hope that uh, she gets some silver boob armor at some point, because she needs the silver boob armor. Ugh. So, eventually, oh, her hair? Okay. Her hair is, like, covering her silver boob armor, but a little, uh, like, fact about action figures is you can actually take a hair dryer to their bits and make them stay. So like I could take a hair dryer to this and then like hold it here and then it will stay. So Valkyrie. Look at her. Yeah. I really need to remake this cosplay because I love it. But that's why I got her because I cosplay as her. So yeah. <laughs> Can you smell what the rock is cooking? All right. I'm only ever going to see the rock when I look at her face. Okay. That's your guys' fault. <laughs> so serious. Okay, let's see. What do I have next? Next, I have, boom, Rogue. But this isn't just any Rogue, okay? This is X-Men, or Extreme X-Men Rogue, sorry, Extreme X-Men. Um, this one is kind of a little bit of a gamble, because she's got these glasses on, so I don't know what her face actually looks like. Her face could be really cute, or it could be really busted, but we don't know because she has these glasses on. But it looks like they're removable, so I'm definitely going to play with that. Are your cats action figure lovers too? Um, my cats like to chew on them and chase their accessories around. <laughs> this one I debated on opening because I did pay a lot of money for her. Like, more than you should pay for an action figure. Uh, but I just opened her, so there's that. That's done. <laughs> But are you extreme enough? Oh my god. But Extreme X-Men was one of the... F actually, it was the first full story arc that I collected as a kid. Like, I always would go into the comic book store and, like, grab random comics here and there with, like, no rhyme or reason. Just like, I like that art. Or I like that, um, cover. Or there's a girl on that one. Yeah! But I... This is the first ever series, um, that I collected as a kid. And I read it as a kid. Like, in order. I waited every week or every month or whatever it was, so I had to get the action figure. Nostalgia forever. Um, I exactly, like, I definitely want to cosplay her. Uh, Chris says, is there a limit to what you should pay? Um, for me, yes, because I'm not the wealthiest person, but it, it honestly depends on the piece. Like, uh, this rogue was much less expensive than this rogue. I don't even want to tell you guys how much I spent on this rogue. This rogue was really expensive. If you guys, if there are any um, action figure aficionados in this chat right now, you know what this rogue is worth. She's a lot. <laughs> but um, this guy, like, I spent more than you should spend on an action figure because it's just a piece of plastic, but it's like market price for her. So they all vary on price. This one is a pretty old one. She's gone rogue. She's a pretty she's a pretty old action figure, so I expected to pay a little bit more than uh, you know what she actually was uh, 
going for back in the day. Just, you know. God. All of these. Oh my god. Extreme X-Men was not $250. Oh god, no. Was not. Whew. But you guys can keep guessing if you want. I like the guesses. All these twisty ties that I need to hide from my cats because they will steal them and they will eat them. I'm actually surprised Artemis isn't all up in my business right now. I'm actually kind of worried. Where is he? <laughs> but yay, there she is! This one was not $80. It was not $45. It was more than... Or $25. It was more than $25. It was less than $2,000. And it was definitely less than $1 million. My God, if I had $1 million, I would not. It was less than $100. But more than $25. Dun, dun, dun. Isn't she cool? I freaking love the short haired look for Rogue and I love her red and blue Extreme X-Men outfit. There's Artemis, he's on the counter. He's on the kitchen counter. Ah, Ronan, you got it. She was $40. It's a lot of money for a damn. Did you guys look it up on eBay? I swear, but yeah, she, she was a lot of money for an action figure, you know, but um, Rogue was even more. So this Rogue, there's two Rogues. I went kind of Rogue crazy at C2E2. But yeah, she was 40 bucks. Oh, what's up? Bootleg Stark. Go check out his cosplay. He's amazing. Uh, I don't have a case to display them. I really need to get one, though. I have, like, a shelf, but it's starting to get really um, crazy. Yeah, I'm cosplaying this version, I swear. Okay, let me see if her glasses come off. <gasps> they come off! Oh, and she's pretty! Oh, good! I was really concerned. Look at her tiny glasses that I'm really gonna try hard not to lose. Wait, wait a sec. Wait, I'm gonna make it look like I'm wearing her glasses. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, look at her face. Oh my god, her face is really pretty. Why do you wanna focus on focus on Rogue. I'm so stoked that I opened her and I'm so stoked that her face is pretty. I was real concerned that hiding under the glasses might be some really busted face. So how do I get these glasses back on? There we go. She's so badass. Heal yeah. She looks like Cher. <gasps> Artemis, quit. Now he's sniffing a Valkyrie. Don't you, don't you get my, oh. I hear a cat on the discussion post, but of course she's behind the couch, so you can't see her. Yeah, man, her cheekbones are like, whew, snatched, carved. I am crazy. What? Uh, uh, there's Apollo. There she is. What comics do I have? Oh my God, I have so many comics. I have thousands and thousands of comics. Like, so many. Yeah, spoiler, Valkyrie. Extreme X Men Rogue. Rawr. I know you guys are all here for the cats. I know. I know that's the truth. <laughs> okay, next one. This big one. Oh, she does look like Madam Web. She really is. Okay, boom. This is a three pack. Uh, I also paid a decent amount of money for this one. Uh, and literally, big old titties. Every action figure ever has big old t titties. Come on. Come on. Um, and yes, it is a No Doubt hoodie. No Doubt, my favorite band ever. So, this is the one figure I wanted out of this set. Just one. But I had to buy three. <laughs> so, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at um, Captain America. I'm actually really excited for that one. Oh, my cat's reading. <sighs> now they're both up there causing trouble. Um, and then this one, Radioactive Man, is like, cool, but not what I bought the set for. I definitely only bought the set for Miss Marvel. So we're gonna open her up. This one hurts my heart because it was really pricey, <laughs> but I really wanna, <laughs> I really wanna <laughs> play with her. Um, I am gonna be uh, at WonderCon. I will be at WonderCon all three days. Look at me just destroying this box. Goodbye box. Um, I'm gonna try really hard not to buy any toys there. I have a bunch of toys that I'm looking for that I'm still like trying to get to add to my collection and some of them are actually on my Amazon wish list. Uh, but yeah, this one is the one I wanted from this set. Look at her. 
questions about three of them. We'll start with Radioactive Man, though, because he's the one I'm least excited about. Sorry, Radioactive Man. Let's take him out of here. Poor box. Ugh. Oh my god, what's up, William? Yes, collectibles, when they're out of print, are the worst. Especially, like, like this set that we, they didn't know was going to be as popular as it was, so they didn't make enough of them. Uh, so this is a lot of money. And it's going to, I'm going to, like, cry, cry to open her. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to open here, here, with you guys. Go look up what she's worth, and you'll cry, too. <laughs> But she must be free. Uh, I wanted to keep her in the box, but Luigi said that action figures are meant to be out and loved. And they are, they are loved. I love them. Except Radioactive Man. It is really cool, though, that he, um, it's really cool that he is see-through. He's clear. Can you guys, like, see that? I wish there was a way to, like, shine a light in it, but I'm literally using my phone over here. But yeah, this is a clear action figure. Pretty cool. Even though, you know, actually, ooh, I'm stand up this guy. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Active Money. There we go. <laughs> this is my last, this is the last try. Look up his skirt. Is it clear, too? No, he's got underwear on. <laughs> what, is, what is this devolving into? This is your This is your fault, Luigi. Although I must admit, when I got a Slave Leia action figure as a kid, I definitely looked at her skirt first thing to see what was up there. What's your take on Disney buying out Fox? I'm so excited! I'm so excited to have the X-Men be part of the MCU and to get the Fantastic Four, like, a good movie. Just, like... Not that the other one, you know, wasn't great, but it wasn't great. How do I? There we go. Cap. Cap. Y'all who come on my feed and try to friggin' advertise your own projects, maybe ask me first. <laughs> I am a child. I am a child. Look at, boom. Cap and Merka. Look at all his straps and his pouches and his boots. He's so badass. What's up? Aw, thanks so much. I really appreciate that. C2E2, it was hard to find me because I looked like this on the floor. I didn't cosplay for, like, all of Saturday. I wasn't there Friday, and then I didn't cosplay all of Saturday because Amanda Lynn and I were uh, action figure shopping. <laughs> this is what happened. And look, he comes with a second head. Look at this pretty, pretty head. I call this the Dade variant. Here's the Dade variant. And like, I always get a little anxiety. I don't know about you guys, like pulling the heads off my action figures to change them. Don't you get like a little bit of anxiety? <laughs> Last but not least, definitely most excited. Get out of here. Look at that. Boom. She's so cool. I don't know where the sash is supposed to go. I don't know what side. Probably. I'm guessing in the front. Maybe in the back. I don't know. Maybe not in the back because it's like covering her. Imagine maybe in the, in the back like that. Yes! Oh, I'm so excited! Yes! Look at that. Man, I wish it would focus. She's amazing. Pew, pew, pew. So many action figures, but yeah. So I'm, I'm like trying really hard to uh, catch up with all the comments, but there are so many. Look at that. Pew, pew. Great, right? ASMR. Damn it! I've had so many people tell me that my voice is so soothing that it puts them to sleep that I should do ASMR. I'm not going to, but I've been told. Action figure. Man, I'm so stoked about her. 
Bye. Bye. Cruel. She's not going to stand up. She's not going to stand up. Her mother effing hair is going to be like way too heavy for this. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Go on. Oh my god. Nope, she's not, it's not happening. Alright, well anyways, there's Miss Marvel. She's really cool. Spot on her boob? Why are you looking at her boobs though? Also, there's not a spot on her boob. There's a lighting bolt on her boob. But, uh, see you, Spencer! See you at, uh, what do you call it? Uh, WonderCon! That's the thing this is weekend. WonderCon. Oh my god. I have definitely been interested in Hot Toys, but, like, they are way too expensive. Cassie, what's up? Cassie, roll! That's my friend. Cassie, are you coming to WonderCon? Are you coming to WonderCon? Tell me! Tell me! Okay, guys. Last action figure before we get to the statue. I'm so sad. Here we go. I'm gonna open her. She was a lot of money, but the box is kind of screwed up anyways. Like you can see this damage like here and stuff. There what there's so that I'm not like feeling too bad about opening her and like this side is all like wonky. I'm gonna open her. Are you guys ready? She was so much money. Luigi, this is your fault. I'm doing this for you. Oh look at the art on the side though before I open her. That's actually really pretty. That's the prettiest rogue art. I wonder who the artist is. If somebody, power of the internet. Um, you guys, uh, uh, can you find out who that is? Tell me, tell me who that is. But yeah, I'm opening it. This is an expensive ass action figure. This is it, but you know what? I'm not in this to sell them. I'm not in this for value. I'm not in this to sell them. Like these are my babies. This is my, um, you know, collection, I love them. They're mine. I'm not, I'm not in this for, uh, there she is. She's open. I'm not in this for the money, you guys. I'm in this for the love of this, uh, for the love of, what do you call it? Um, the characters and collecting and all that stuff. So, yee. Still smells like a new action figure. But yeah, look at that art. That's really pretty. I don't know who that is. I don't think it's Alex Ross. I don't know. But somebody somebody tell me who that artwork is because I really like it. Yep, exactly. There are collectibles. You know, that's why collectibles are collectibles. $60 is not the average price for Rogue anymore. She has gone up a lot in value. I paid a lot more for her. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I open everything. Even my pops, everything. Because, like, I'm not going to sell them. They're not mine. Like, you know. But, yeah, here's this Build-A-Figure. Juggernaut's leg. I think this is Juggernaut, right? Yeah, Juggernaut. I got Juggernaut's leg, and I got Hulkbuster's arm. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, I'm not selling it. It wasn't 180. It was less than 180. Thank god. Thank god. Movable. This is weird. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Look at her little belt. It moves. Look at her little jacket. Oh man, I'm so happy, you guys. I looked forever for her. And uh, yeah, it was like 90 bucks. I paid like 90 bucks for her. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> but oh, for posing. Oh, what? that's it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. All right. Hell yeah. I, I didn't even think about that. But, oh my god, I'm going to cry, you guys. I'm so happy. I love her so much. I have not gotten the alternate Mystique head yet. I really want Mystique. I think she's on my Amazon wish list. But if not, I'm going to add her to my Amazon wish list because I really want to put Mystique's head on her. <laughs> but yeah, oh my god, she's beautiful. I don't know if you can see her face, but it's gorgeous. Look. Oh my god. And that, like, shine on the green of her, like, friggin' suit. Also, she comes with, man, I'm so glad I opened her, you guys. Okay, like, I had a little bit of anxiety about it just because I, like, paid so much money for her. But, oh, my God. Oh, my God, I'm so happy. Like, she's adorable. I have the Marvel Legends, the Toy Biz Marvel Legends uh, 
no, 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 it's not. It's the, it's the other action figure line. I can't remember which, but it's another Marvel action figure line. I have that on my Amazon wish list too of Rogue. But like, gosh, I'm so excited. Look at her. She's gorgeous. But look at, yeah. she comes with a hand so she can, oh my gosh, and her little cuffs come off too. That's so cool. But she comes with like a, a bare hand so that she can touch you and steal your powers. Oh, dude. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm going to cry, you guys. I love her so much. <laughs> All right. We're going to play out a little scenario right now. Are you ready? I'm a huge Rogue fan. I love Rogue. Uh, is this the right hand? Yeah. Take her little cuff off. Look at her little cuff. That's so cool. I like that her little glove and little cuff have a thing. I love that. All right, guys. We're going to play out a scenario. Are you ready to just see me be, like, the nerdiest person ever? Here it goes. Here goes nothing. Ready? Ready? Okay. Hey, guys. I'm Carol Danvers. I'm Miss Marvel, and I'm super cool and powerful. Hey, I'm Rogue. I'm going to touch you. No, don't. Yeah, I'm going to take your powers. Look, I can fly now. And I have photon blast. Pew, 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 pew. Boom. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I freaking love her. I'm so excited. Like, jeez. <sighs> I'm such a nerd, I know, but I love them so much. Oh my gosh. This is great. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving a part of my, like, personality and my, like, world to you guys that's, like, not a lot of people see <laughs> me being super crazy about action figures. <laughs> Give her all the Oscars. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to put these guys aside, my sweet babies. I love them so much. <laughs> And I'm going to open the big statue that I got. This is the statue that, um, oh, I can't lose their little accessories, uh, that I got at the con at C2E2, and I carried it on the plane with me like this because I couldn't fit it in my suitcase, and I also would not, like, um, not do the thing there, so... By the Cap classic Captain Marvel. Classic Captain Marvel, Marvel Legends, is actually also on my Amazon wish list. I don't have her yet. Uh, I just started getting into Marvel Legends, probably a little late. Okay. Here we go. What's up, MetaWorks? Blue! Oh, yeah. Also, I was not going to buy a statue at C2E2, but... I got a really effing good deal on this statue. Luigi helped. Luigi's the king of uh, discounts. But yeah, look at that. I got a really good deal on her. Okay, guys, are you ready? Dun, dun, dun! Oh, she's beautiful! <gasps> she's beautiful. She's got styrofoam all over her. Can you see that? Oh my god, she's beautiful. Ah! I always tell myself, not gonna buy anything. Not gonna buy, yep, that's me. Not gonna buy the statue, bought the statue. Look at her. Oh my god, she's so effing beautiful. Yes, look at her. I'm gonna do 360. 360 view. Look at that ass, sorry. Oh my god, it's gorgeous! Yes! Look at her, look at her. I'm so happy. And she's really heavy, like, she's very hefty, like, a good... I don't think she's gonna, like, fall over, like, I'm not scared. I don't know if she comes off the base. No, I think she's attached. But, man, look at her, she's gorgeous. The only complaint I have is if I'm nitpicking, she doesn't have any X symbols on her shoulder. But that's just me being a butthole about it. Yeah, she's gonna look great next to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Savage on Rib. Let me get her real quick. She's right up here. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Ah! Yes, this was my birthday present. 
this year? Birthday, Christmas? I can't remember. They're so close. Uh, from Luigi. Luigi got me Savage Land Rogue. Look at her. Gorgeous. Look at that butt. Yes. Love her. And here's her big, her big sister. <laughs> I don't know. I might like Rogue a little bit, maybe. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh, Millennium Falcon Pillow. Oh, yeah. I have a Stormtrooper head and a Millennium Falcon on my couch. Look at it. There's the daddy, the baby, and the mommy. Now I'm just getting really weird. Yes, I'm so excited. Hell yeah. Um, I, oh my god, Luigi, get out of here. Luigi, I hate Power Girl. <laughs> um, but, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so the Gambit Marvel Legend comes out in July, and I've already pre-ordered him to go with Rogue. Uh, I don't have any Gambit statues, but I need, I need a Gambit statue, I think, to go with her. What a cute family. <laughs> like, the three, three little bears. Or whatever. Yeah, that's all I have to unbox, so, uh. Do you guys have any questions or anything? Any conventions coming up? I'm going to WonderCon this weekend. Uh, also, if you guys enjoy seeing me live, being weird, uh, I stream on Twitch as well. Uh, the link is in my bio to go check out my Twitch. And uh, if you like follow me on Twitch or whatever, or subscribe, I don't know, it's follow. Uh, it'll notify you when I'm online. I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow at 2 p.m. California time on my Twitch. Uh, I paused it for a little bit because I was, um, what do you call it, uh, moving. <laughs> but now that I'm done moving, I'm gonna be streaming in tomorrow, so I'm really excited. But, um, Gambit Locks and the Three Rogues. I have done a rogue cosplay. Um, so much. Wow, I cannot, like, read this against my effing white sweater. Oh, thanks, friends who have seen me on Twitch already. Uh, oh, Disney's fun, though. Go to Disney. Or are you, um, what do you call it, uh, working at Disney? That's not as fun. Whoa, I just got a phone notification that um, somebody followed me on Twitch. So if that was one of you guys, thanks so much. Appreciate it. But yeah, uh, E. William, I did get the codes. Haven't added them to Twitch yet, though, because uh, I've been so busy. But I will very much so. Thanks. I'm glad you love my cosplays. Am I Captain Marvel? Yee. Uh, is there a cosplay you're looking forward to doing? I have so many. I have so many cosplays that I am stoked to do. Uh, I'm building a new one for WonderCon, so hopefully it will be ready. But I have a lot of stuff in the works, for sure. I'll be posting some sneak peeks and stuff very soon of my upcoming cosplays. Uh, Will I be playing Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 3 on Twitch? Pro or on Switch? Probably not. I don't really care for fighting games that much. Uh, hopefully next year at C2E2 I'll have a, a, like, a better place for like maybe a meet and greet or something. I know a lot of people were disappointed that they didn't see me. Um, but I did not have a table. I was not guesting or anything. Um... So it was a little hard to catch me. I was literally just walking around the um, con regular. So thanks. I just got my hair redone today. So it is a little more intense than usual. Lego Marvel Avengers. <laughs> Let's see. Have I ever thought of going to Coachella? I don't know. Coachella is really expensive. And I spend a lot of my money at Comic-Con. So... <laughs> Maybe if I had, like, a sponsored trip. Uh, and yes, I love Irene. She's amazing. I haven't seen her in a long time since she lives in Russia and I live in the United States. But yeah. Oh, what's up? Rage. 5 -0. <laughs> Nice to see you guys. There's so many people from my Twitch in this stream. I'm so excited. Uh, man, I wish there was a way to see more comments. Woo, boom, got another Twitch follower. Thank you, guys. Tomorrow, I'm going to be online. I'm actually, I love doing, like, live streams and stuff. Am I ready for Avengers Endgame? No. Is anybody ready? Is anyone ready, really? Um, I 
really liked Captain Marvel. I thought it was a great movie. Was it the best movie in existence? No, but it was a great movie, and I saw it twice, and I'd love to see it again before it's out of theaters. But, um, do a Starfire impression, please. Which is Starfire? There's so many different ones. Um, man, I'm sorry if I'm missing your comments, but, uh, there's just so many, and they go so fast. Uh, here's a seeing me at New York Comic Con. I really hope to go. Hopefully I get an opportunity to go back. Oh, another follower on Twitch. What's up? Thank you, guys. Wow. I have done several Lara Croft cosplays. Um, I feel like you can probably see most of them if you, like, like swipe through my Instagram for a while. Man, so much, so much rogue. Do you think I have enough rogue? Probably not. Hello from Texas. What's been my favorite con so far? Hmm, that's a hard question. I really like a bunch of different stuff. No, no, not expect appearance at MegaCon. Um, so far, I don't have any um, MegaCon plans. I would love to go back, uh, but I think that they're pretty much set in their cosplay guests. I've reached out to them before, and they haven't wanted me back. So, but when I went to MegaCon, I was actually there through a private company, not through the con. So I think it's a little hard for the con to like bring cosplayers and stuff. So maybe someday, will I be at Dragon Con? Maybe, that'd be great. I'd love to eventually. Um, and Palm Springs, maybe I'll, I'll make another appearance at Palm Springs. That would be bomb too. Puerto Rico Comic Con, that would be bomb, but they have not invited me. So no, it's really hard to travel to foreign countries just on my own, um, if a convention, like, requests me to go, or, uh, is able to provide, like, a plane ticket or whatever, then I'd love to attend, but it's really hard for me to, like, just go on my own, um, since they're really expensive, but London Comic Con, that would be really amazing, uh, just, if you ever want to see me at a Comic Con of any sort, just reach out to your local shows, email them, tell them that you want to see me, uh, put me in their mind, and hey, maybe they will want to bring me out. That'd be bomb. I would love to go. Megatron. What's up? Ooh, another Twitch follower. The Bearded Gamer Show. What? Bomb. Yeah, okay, we'll do it. You should play Starfire. That'd be bomb. DC Movie Universe is, uh, getting a reboot, so maybe they'll do some more Teen Titans. Like, I don't know that we've ever seen the Teen Titans on, like, the big screen, or even Starfire, like, on the big screen, that'd be bomb, I would take it, I would take anything, uh, let's see, hello, 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 so many people saying hi, but yeah, do you guys have any more questions or anything, what is your perfect date, well, staying home and opening action figures, actually, <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe, like, eating food, because food is great, uh, <laughs> do I do I like Captain Marvel? Yes, I loved it. Uh, excited for Birds of Prey. I am very excited. Uh, really excited to just see what they do with the characters and to see like Black Canary and uh, Huntress. Huntress is one of my favorite characters. My favorite Batman universe character actually is Huntress. So um, I'm really excited to see what she looks like on the big screen. Um, when she was an Arrow. I was a little bit disappointed because they did not utilize her very well. She was not there uh, for very long, which made me really sad. So to see her on the big screen, it's going to be bomb because I love freaking, um, what do you call it? Uh, what were we talking about? Huntress. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm like reading comments as I'm talking to you guys, so I'm all over the place. Uzatana would be bomb. I do have a Captain Marvel cosplay from the comics. She was pooping arrow. <laughs> I agree. It was not a good representation. Yeah, like you forgot she was an arrow. Mm-hmm. It was not good. Um, uh, so really, I I'm sure, I'm sure she's going to be better in the movie because the actress playing her is great. So, um, Huntress, I'm excited. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, my favorite Batgirl is Stephanie Brown. Actually, look, I just opened... A spoiler uh, action figure who is Stephanie Brown before she's Batgirl, but I just love Stephanie as a character all the way around. I love Babs too, but let's see. Warner Brothers will not allow CW to be in the movies. Oh, yeah, the CW renditions. Yeah, it's like a separate universe. 
sort of thing. So, uh, I mean, I guess we'll just get new versions of them, but Shira would be fun. I need to watch that show on Netflix. Is it any good? Spoiler alert. Yeah, I've been making, making jokes about her. Uh, oh, the puppy. I missed the puppy. Did you guys see all the stories about the puppy? I miss them so much. Trying to trying to get to all these comments. Uh, I'm gonna. What? Barbara's so much better. As Oracle, yeah. Um, I am a Marvel fan. I'm a fan of both. Um, have I thought of acting ever? I have thought of acting. I am acting in the new Sisterhood Arrow web series. Um, I've done a couple other little projects, and I've been actually going out and doing auditions and all that kind of crazy stuff. So hopefully you'll see me at some point. Hot Girl would be bomb. Hot Girl would be really cool. Now that I have, like, fiery red hair, too. So Hot Girl... Doom Patrol cosplay. I probably won't cosplay from Doom Patrol. I really love it. The show is great, but I'm probably not going to cosplay from it. How many action figures do I have? About a gabillion. A gabillion action figures. I have boxes. I have boxes and boxes of action figures that I just can't fit anywhere. <laughs> but, uh, uh, my favorite comic? Hmm, that's a hard one. I'd have to go with Supergirl, but, uh, not... New 52 or Rebirth Supergirl. Definitely the, like, 2005 Supergirl that came off of the Batman Superman um, Jeff Loeb run. So it was, like, Jeff Loeb, Ian Churchill, Michael Turner. That run was, like, perfection for me, and I could reread it, you know, constantly, like, over and over again. Uh, oh, God. Do I have a Funko collection? Uh, I have a lot of Funko Pops. Holy buttholes. I need to do a collection, like, tour at some point. And, um, I saw another question. What the hell was it? I can't remember. I'm going to need a bigger bag. Uh, Doom Patrol is so good. It's really good. Kingdom Come Starfire. I can't remember what she looked like in Kingdom Come. I will have to look that up before I say whether or not I would do it. Because, <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what she looked like in particular. But. There's so many, I'm missing so many questions. <laughs> I have so many action figures. Um, I'm so sorry. Uh, how has Patreon been? Positive? Yeah, Patreon's great. Um, I love uh, being able to express myself on Patreon and post a lot of things that like just aren't allowed on Instagram. I mean, I guess they're allowed on Instagram, but, like, I personally don't want to share them on Instagram. It's much more, like, sensitive content that a lot of people can be kind of, like, touchy about, so it's all on my Patreon. Uh, but yeah, Patreon is a much, a good way to get, um, prints, exclusive prints, and all sorts of photo sets and things. A lot of, like, different rewards and stuff for me, from me. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm a big a big nerd. All the sexy content. <laughs> All the stuff I can't post on Instagram or don't want to because I don't want to get deleted. Anyway. Instagram's not booty friendly. <laughs> I've got a few butt photos on Instagram. Uh, I do have a Star Wars cosplay. I have done Princess Leia. Lit cosplayers, what up? Um, but yeah, most of my stuff is on Patreon for sure. What is my favorite DC movie now? Um, probably still Wonder Woman. Well, I guess, I don't know. Are you talking about, like, the new wave of DC? Or does The Dark Knight still count? Because if that's so, The Dark Knight counts. And that's my favorite one. The Dark Knight. You didn't fail the city. Good. Real glad. Uh, I will not be at Star Wars Celebration. Uh, I found out a little too late that it was in Chicago. I've just been so busy... Uh, just traveling, which is oh, insane. I've been doing so much that uh, I totally like spaced and didn't get any tickets or anything for a Star Wars celebration. So maybe it'll be back in my hometown, or not hometown, but like where I live, like down in uh, LA at some point. That'd be great. But I went to Star Wars celebration when it was in Anaheim. And that was super fun. Love from India. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Have I done any image? comic characters. No, I don't think I have. I really want to cosplay from Saga. Have you ever read Saga? If 
Favorite No Doubt song? Um, oh, that's hard. That's really hard. Ooh, ooh. Probably Just a Girl, though. Probably. Uh, new Elsa cosplay? Probably not a new Elsa cosplay. Uh, maybe. I'd like to do the pants and, uh, like, jacket version. That'd be bomb. But probably not for D23. And, ooh, yeah, Spiderwebs is also great. Uh, just got a new Twitch follower. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I did notice, no doubt, in the Captain Marvel soundtrack. Fun fact, when I was in the theater watching Captain Marvel, um, and Just a Girl came on, that song, I literally started crying. I started just effing bawling, because it's my favorite superhero, well, one of my favorite superheroes, like, fighting to my favorite, like, No Doubt song from my favorite band ever, and I just started, like, fucking crying. Crying. Um, it was when she's, like, fighting Jan Rog and all them. Uh, sorry. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Go see it. It's been out for a while now. But when she's fighting a bunch of the people and stuff, uh, she, that song is playing. So, do it. Do you have any cosplay or soundtrack? What? Oh, any Tron cosplay or soundtrack. I have the, the, uh, soundtrack, but... I have never done a Tron cosplay. I've always wanted to cosplay the Sirens, but they're just kind of like, they're expensive. It's inexpensive. Fucking costume. I look like Ariel. Thanks. <laughs> it's just the hair. I know. Uh, this is a No Doubt sweatshirt. Uh, <laughs> cry and lie in the fetal position. Uh, Kristen Stewart. Are you saying I look like Kristen Stewart? But, uh, yeah. Wait for it to come out on Blu-ray. <sighs> Do I get to go to the Avengers premiere? I'm not sure yet. Uh, it's about a month out, and they don't actually even announce the dates of the premieres for a while, so I won't even know if I get to go to that premiere, like, till pretty close to the event, to be honest. But, oh, thanks. I just got my hair redone. The red is fresh. Uh, I don't know if I answered your character question. I'm not sure. But maybe I did. Uh, good night. Good night, people who are leaving. It's done, and I get to put it on, and I'm like, ah, I am that co costume. I'm that character. I'm I won't be going for the opening, uh, like, week or month, or probably even several months, because it's just going to be so effing nuts. But, um, no doubt. I saw a thing about no doubt. Oh god, so many questions. Do I have any hot toys? No, I would love some hot toys, but they are expensive. Like, they're a little bit out of my price range. Unfortunately, do I have a YouTube channel? I do! The link to my YouTube channel, as well as the link to my Twitch, uh, is in my bio. In my bio. Do I have a boyfriend? Yes, I do. His name is Dave. He's in a lot of my posts, and a lot of my stories, and he's great, and you should follow him too because he also posts really cool cosplays how could you be so beautiful thanks hair dye and uh skincare <laughs> yeah the, the whole soundtrack of captain marvel was really effing good wow it's indio comic con's 50th anniversary no way no freaking way uh, toughest costume that i ever made my boba fett um what do you call it? My Boba Fett Rapunzel. My freaking Boba Fett Rapunzel is, was the most, I hand painted that armor and constructed it. Like it was so much work, but it was so worth it. I loved it. Um, oh my God. Okay. I do have a Patreon. The link to my Patreon is also in my bio. Bio. Um, yeah, the, I'm very informed on the Captain Marvel controversy. Very informed. I know exactly what's up. Uh, I do know Lexi. Um, what? You can do the up and down thing very fast. I can't. I cannot. Uh, I'd love to get the Art of Captain Marvel book at some point. I didn't even know there was one. I'll probably put that on my Amazon wish list. Any cosplay of the X-Men? I cosplay Rogue a bunch. I also cosplay uh, Emma Frost, and uh, I should be cosplaying Jean Grey very soon. Uh, let's see, all finished with the move? I am, I am all settled in. Uh, I'm still, uh, 
like unpacking and situating some things. Uh, my Boba Fett cosplay is great. Thanks. Do I get fully naked on it? <laughs> no worries. It is a fair question for Patreon, but no, I do not get fully nude. Um, very much so implied, though, and a lot of pasties and things. Uh, really good content, regardless uh, with if I'm nude or not, so definitely check out my Patreon. Link is in my bio. Uh, I will say hello to Dave and Sarah for you. How far of a move was it? Um, I know. Like, just like a few cities away, but it still was a chore. Like, moving with cats is really hard, especially my cats, because they're just like freaked out the whole time. Um, let's see, would you shave your head for an iconic bald superhero, or would you use a bald cap? Depends. Am I doing it for a network? Because, also, which bald superhero would I, like, like, um, God, wasn't it Karen Gillian in, uh, Guardians, like she shaved her head for Nebula. Yeah, I'd do that. Heck yeah. I get full sexy. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't even know when uh, friggin' Dapper Day is. Better landlord this time, but yes. Thank God. Who's your celebrity crush? Angelina Jolie and Natalie Portman, hands down. Professor X? Professor X is a lady. Who's your favorite Joker? Uh, Jack Nicholson. But then Heath Ledger right after. Would you ever be Disneyland Captain Marvel? Uh, I don't know that I can be. Uh, I don't think that I can... Um, what do you call it? I can't believe... I don't think that I can be... Like, work at Disneyland because... Uh, it's weird, but my following is so high that, like... I think people would recognize me as the characters. And Disney is not about that. Like, they don't want you to be, like, a celebrity or celebrity, whatever. Uh, they don't want you to be recognizable in the costume. They want you to be able to completely immerse yourself in that character. Obviously, like, they want, you know, kids to think that they're meeting the real thing. And, uh, I think that maybe my following might take away from that. So, I don't think I'm even allowed to work at Disneyland. But, I would love to at some point. But, um, yeah, we were in Ecuador. Uh, we don't have plans to go yet, but I'd love to go. Uh, Luigi's gonna be back in Ecuador, though. And, ooh, Dapper Day is April 13th and 14th. I might be able to go. But uh, would you like to meet Laura Gilbert? Someday, yeah. I've talked with her a bunch, and I really like her, but um, I have never met her. What's up, Mom? Hi. Mom, we're talking about my butt and all sorts of other weird stuff. But, uh, yeah, so it looks like I have two minutes remaining on my live stream. I don't know why. I guess it's going to stop. But, um... Dade is recognizable. He's only recognizable to a few people, though. I, I feel like I'm a little more recognizable. But, uh, yeah, I guess Instagram is, uh... Is, there's a lot of my butt on Patreon. There's there's a lot of, a lot of butt. <laughs> All sorts of stuff. But, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think I only have another minute. Why does Instagram stop it? Like, what is, has it been, like, an hour? Um... WonderCon cosplay again. Uh, I think Jinx on Friday is my only for sure one, but I don't know what else. Um, yes, Disney Lady Bait, let's go! I wanna eat more food at the Food and Wine Festival. Uh, but yeah, but you guys are amazing, everybody. Thank you guys so much. Uh, yeah, the link in my bio has my Twitch, which I'll be online tomorrow at 2 p.m. California time. It's got my Patreon, it's got my YouTube channel, it's got all sorts of stuff. So, um, thank you guys for, for watching, and you all are amazing, and, uh, hope you liked my ridiculous, uh, action figure unboxing with my toys. I'm a child. I definitely am a child, so, yay! Thank you guys so much for everything!